Lyme, Connecticut, 1975. A medical mystery was unfolding. Children woke up with swollen knees. Adults couldn't move their joints. Families experienced crippling symptoms no one could explain. At the center of it was Polly Murray, a mother of four sick children and the first to document every strange case. Her records reached Yale, where doctors Alan Steer and Stephen Malawista began connecting the dots. Patients described a bullseye-shaped rash. When Yale looked across the Connecticut River, they found the disease was 30 times more common on the forested east side, where deer and ticks were most abundant. By 1977, the disease had a name and a cause. Borrelia burgdorferi, a spiral-shaped bacterium spread by ticks. Today, Lyme disease is the most common tick-borne illness in the U.S. In parts of Connecticut, up to half the population shows signs of past exposure, although many never had symptoms. And as for the Plum Island conspiracy, the claim that Lyme disease was engineered at a secret government lab off the coast of Long Island, it doesn't hold up. A 2017 Yale study sequenced the Lyme bacterium's genome and found it had been circulating in North American forests for at least 60,000 years. The real trigger was ecological, booming deer populations and suburbs pushing deeper into tick territory.